Chef Ted Reeder here. Welcome to Castle Barbecue for another episode of uh, Ted and Friends. Getting along, having some fun, learning how to barbecue from the godfather of the grill. Kevin, welcome aboard. Thank you, my friend. Oh, we're going to have some fun today. I know you like beef. Love beef, love love everything that's here. I, I actually took a picture of it. I look like everything that's here. It is here. kind of sexy, eh? These are Korean short ribs or Maui yeah. ribs yeah. or Miami ribs. Right. And so my friends at uh, Pelletieri Wineries, uh, they have this Syrah. And we're yep. just going to use that. And you can only buy this wine at the winery, wineVirgin.ca. Fancy glasses are nice, but a good old coffee cup is good for you. You'll be like Pasquale. Oh, thank you very much. All right. And so I'm going to take a little bit of red wine and I'm going to pour it into this uh, mm, that's good. jar. That's good wine. A little bit of horseradish into this marinade. And this is just out of the grocery store, you know, yep, store-bought yep. horseradish, nothing, whatever type nothing. you like. We got about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Nice. Little secret, concentrated beef stock. Ooh. And a little saltiness and a little of that extra mm. beefy note to it. And then you got my oh, buddy Dijon. Zane. Zane's got some old fashioned Dijon oh, mustard there. Shit, this is all my favorite stuff. I don't like to cook the same thing twice. So right. every time I go out, I tweak it, I twist it, I do something a little bit different. And I learn more and I play around. And when you've got beef short ribs that are well marbled like this, like this is, this is so easy. That's the thing about this. It's fucking easy. Right. So we need a little bit of onion in this. Now, now Doug was saying you're gonna teach me how to, how to chop, but I honestly think I'll lose a finger. Okay, so we're gonna take yeah. the red onion, we're, we're gonna mix it into this. Perfect, yes, salute. Salute, okay, a little bit of that. A little, a few cloves of garlic, smash right. it down. You gotta look for your produce and look at it and research, you just can't go buy the first bunch you see there. You know, there's a lot of shit in the grocery stores too, in the sense of that, product doesn't look you the way you want it or it's on its way out, but you should still investigate it. You can find some great deals on the reduced rack of produce. Like, yeah. that's where you go look for avocados because they're absolutely perfect there. Right. We're gonna take some of my bone dust steak spice, two tablespoons. Or, or, a, or a Ted Palm. A Ted Palm, right, it's the chef's palm. All right, a little bit of canola oil. How come canola? Is it just something that doesn't really It's what really was matter? in the squeeze bottle. No, I don't, no, no. not right now, we're just oh. gonna marinate. Okay, so now okay. you're gonna take this mixture. Oh. All right, so just stir it up like that. Okay. Pour it over top. Just, oh yeah. Oh, sweet baby. All of it, just like oh, that. You're gonna take some uh, fresh thyme or rosemary or oregano, whatever kind of fresh whatever you really like. herbs, and then you're gonna mix it all up. So you do this the day before, yep. and you let this sit in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So when you come home from work, you're all set and ready to go. We're gonna let it sit. We're yep. gonna go have a little glass of wine, relax. Nice. We're gonna come back, make sure our fires are nice and hot and ready, and then we're gonna get to grilling these off hot and fast, direct, no messing around. It's a quick and easy dinner. It takes longer to marinate than it does to cook this shit. Mm. We've broken it down and we've made a nice even layer and we're trying to get rid of the flames. The less flame you have, the easier it is to cook. There, you really should take that coat off. Yeah, I'm gonna take this coat off. Because that's gonna go up like a flaming... My, 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 you'll my, be my firecracker in the back I got this coat from Aritzia. It's the only thing they sell for men. Well, cool, but you'll burn up in it. So, all you're gonna do is lift it up and kind of watch. And you wanna watch where you're gonna get flare-ups. Yeah, yeah because then you're gonna to wanna to move. But for the time being, you know, you Chef's pinch. shake it on, make you feel good. Yeah, yeah. Right? You got a little wine, you got a little food, you get some caramelization yeah, yeah. going on. Just leave it there. You just flip it over. This is how easy it is. It, 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 you don't have to get complicated. Enjoy the wine. Yeah. We're not super, super hot. You know, and then a little bit of this, a little more seasoning. You know, give it a little red wine, drizzle over top. Take some time. Just a little bit of roasted garlic on this. Just a little bit here and there. And this is some Saint Agur blue cheese. Saint Agur. Saint Agur. So from the Belle Province. Yeah, the Belle Province. 
Ted let me do something finally, eh? You're, you're getting along with the program so we can do that. I'm coming, I'm coming. I, have some, I took some balsamic vinegar and I boiled it down. So I take it down so it's a thick syrup like maple syrup. All right, so just drizzle this over top. And could, would that be good over a salad too? It's nice and easy, but you know, we're not in the salad game right now. <laughs> no, we're not. Who brought up salad? What, you know what, you want to eat dinner? Salad. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sound like my friend Christian Pritchard. You're right. Like, look at that one. That's like pure sexual chocolate. Like, I was that's just. I this, this is like food porn right here. A little bit of my steak spice, glass of red wine. So, you know, take it down here. This is rustic eating. Cut them in between each bone, right? Grab one. They're gonna be hot. Whichever one I'm you grabbing want. the one with the cheese, baby. I'll take as many fucking bites as you want me to take. Fuck me, that's good. Holy oh, right. fuck me. It is like, it's better than sex. I can't say that though, right? Ridiculous. Tune in next time. We're gonna make something else that's tasty. Nice and simple. Red wine marinated short ribs. Hot and fast on the grills. It'd be tasty. See you soon. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Backyard barbecue. This is like, you know, we don't need fancy. We don't need the fancy. We, we need, need the meat. Fancy.